Have you heard of the crazy uptick in Kia and Hyundai thefts? There's a video that's gone viral from someone called the Kia Boys, and they've been teaching just how easy it is to break into Kia and Hyundai vehicles before 2022. You see people running for their life up there, dude? Several teens show him their typical afternoon. Put the front end in and break it. Then you start it with a charger piece, like, a, like this. But we're gonna show you just how you can protect your car in the case of theft. Here in St. Louis, Missouri, 3,800 cars were reported stolen, and according to the St. Louis Police Department, half of those were Kias and Hyundais. Just this past June, over 520 Kias and Hyundais were reported stolen. That's a 300% increase compared to 2021. So I'm here with a 2017 Kia Sportage, and we're gonna kinda talk about what the issue is with these Kias and Hyundais, and how people are breaking into them so easily. But we're not gonna show you everything, because we don't wanna increase even more theft. So the biggest issue with these Kia and Hyundai vehicles is that the alarm system isn't that great, it doesn't go off when you break the window, and it's way too easy to start the vehicle without actually having the key. The first thing that an experienced carjacker is gonna do is they're gonna look into your window and see if you have any sort of aftermarket alarm system, which can be indicated by a blinking light. While they're looking in through your window, they're also gonna be looking to see if you have any sort of steering wheel lock or valuables in sight to make sure it's worth their time to try and break in. Once they think the coast is clear, they're gonna end up breaking the window with a tool or whatever they have available. For a lot of vehicles, this is normally where there would be some type of alarm, but the problem with these Kias and Hyundais that they found out is that there's no shock sensor, which triggers that response. So once they actually get into your car, the first thing that they're gonna do, they're actually gonna get to work on removing the steering wheel column cover here. And we're not gonna do that, but once they do, they'll take a USB or a similar size tool and they'll put it into a section down here by your ignition where they can actually start your car and drive off. So that's the second main problem that these vehicles are having, that there's no sort of engine start interrupt that would require the key fob to be in the vehicle at all times when it's operating. So here's how you're gonna solve this. You're gonna to go to some kind of auto shop and you're gonna get a security system. Not all of them have them in stock, but if you're in the St. Louis area, us at VIP would be happy to help you so you can come check us out. We offer the Prestige Security Keyless Entry System. So what you're gonna get with us is you're gonna get a professional install and a three year, 36,000 mile warranty on the material and the labor to install it. What these security systems actually do is they solve the issues of shock sensors. So when people break your windows, an alarm's actually gonna go off. They also solve the issue of there not being a starter kill. Essentially, you can turn on and off this feature with a new key fob. Aside from this security system, you can get one of those steering wheel locking bars. The locking bars will serve as a visual deterrent as well as just an added level of difficulty. So we really hope this video helps you guys protect your Kias and Hyundais. At VIP, we're all about customizing and protecting your car. So if you wanna see more automotive content like that, like and subscribe, and feel free to reach out.